What's going on? Today I'm showing you the new and improved Solo Survivor build. This is a build that I'm probably going to be running so much when I'm playing solo queue, and I recommend you do too. So Kindred's a staple. You can see the killer within 60 meters of a hook, whether it's you on the hook or someone else. Uh, you, you already know how this part works. But what we're really here for is... Booba? Alright, so we are on the swamp. Looks like we got a spirit. Oh, that's nice. So the main star of this bill is going to be open-handed and kindred. So what the combo does is it makes it to where you can see the killer up to 32 meters away from a hook survivor, which is just insane. Especially when you're the one hooked and your teammates can see that. That makes it very easy for you to be able to be saved. The other two perks are interchangeable, decides to strike, decides to strike. And then Camaraderance is probably a perk that you could swap out with uh, any type of exhaustion perk, really. Yeah, we're gonna escape that chase pretty quickly. We've got one gen done so far. Spirit chases aren't the most enjoyable to watch if they're using their power. Let's go for the generator. Maybe I can go for the heal. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna blind her. Make sure she's on us and not our teammate. 110 move speed. Nice, so we double back to get the stun and we make some distance. She does not lose us here, okay. We're gonna be W gamers. And we're free. Oh, I was not there to get the save. So, this is a side bet of our solo queue build. We can just take our time. We know exactly where she is. We're gonna look around, see. She knows where I am. Is she gonna double back? She is. And we can take our time here. This person still has like Damn, okay, so she saw me. That's not good. We see she's vaulting here. Man, this is so good. Ooh! Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get out of there. <laughs> oh god, I need my teammates to go. Well, actually, I should be the one going for the save here, because if I go down, that's okay. Okay, our whole team's here. Nice. And we're gonna spin her again. Holy. That build's already been putting in some pretty big work. Most likely. Yeah, she turned around. That's fine, though. She's got three hooks. We've got three gems done. Can't really complain about that. Oh, we're all getting stuck on each other. Alright, this is getting just a little bit degenerate. Oh, and this person still isn't fully healed from when I was healing them earlier. She's dead. No decisive, no one runs that perk anymore. Okay, well this game just got a little bit harder. Yeah, I don't think she realized she was death hook if she took her to basement. Oh look, we can see exactly where she's going. 32 meters, by the way. Chill, chill, chill. 
Uh oh. I'm in such a bad position. Ah, uh, she went for the swing there. I thought she would respect. Well, that's fine. This basically just means we get to make use of our build. Alright, so now my teammates know exactly where she is. They know what we're doing. I'm gonna let them know that she's right here. There we go. She's leaving again. I'm gonna pretend like I'm just a scrub running in a line. See if she tries to hit me. Get her to chase me some more. Ah, nice. <gasps> ah! Alright, so we're gonna cut that. Alright, okay. Once I get healed up, we can actually really start doing some good stuff here. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, 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 wait. where's she taking me? Does she know where Hatch is? Get the fuck out of here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna see if I can pressure her to chase me. She's gonna super tunnel vision on them, which gives me time to finish this last gen. Even if then one of them goes down. Hopefully the Nia takes aggro here. We would have been in a much better spot if I hit the decisive strike. But this still works out because this gen's gonna be done any second now. Rancor! Okay, okay. We play like a complete baby. Okay, she's chasing him. No, he's dead. Is she going for the pickup? She is, which means we can still do this. I'm so sorry. Well, it's unfortunate, but... Hopefully we did show how effective this build can be. So yeah, Camaraderance really didn't do that much, but we didn't expect it to do that much. DS would have been huge if I actually managed to hit it, but definitely, at least from the looping at the shack, you should be able to tell that running Kindred along with Open Handed is actually just completely insane.